South Korean health authorities release virus prevention measures to strengthen quarantine efforts in the greater Seoul area. The government will closely inspect multi-use facilities where cluster infections could pop up. Choi Won-jung has our top story. South Korea's health authorities are increasing their monitoring and inspection measures in the capital region. They announced the special prevention measures on Tuesday, hoping to prevent a potential fourth wave of COVID-19 infections nationwide. Controlling the infection wave in the capital area is a major task. In order to stop the resurgence of the third wave, we need to contain daily COVID cases below 200. Under the new measures, the government will select 30 facilities, including parks, department stores and shopping areas, where large numbers of people are expected to visit in the springtime. And those designated teams from local governments will be closely monitoring those areas for two weeks, starting on Wednesday. The authorities are also increasing their inspections of workplaces with foreign workers. And Seoul and Gyeonggi-do province will require foreign workers to get COVID-19 tests. Gyeonggi-do province is also requiring employers to demand COVID-19 testing before hiring foreign workers from March 22nd to April 30th, meaning only those who test negative can be hired. And saunas were also part of the stricter prevention measures. Due to cluster infection reported from saunas in the capital area, Seoul already made preemptive inspections of more than 400 sauna businesses. In Gyeonggi-do province, sauna users are now required to check in using only QR codes, rather than writing down their details by hand. As of Tuesday, 363 new COVID-19 cases were reported, bringing the total number of cases to more than 96,000. Of those new cases, all but 18 were locally transmitted. With three additional deaths, the total death toll now stands at 1,678. Cheon Jong, Arirang News.